Students from a grade 12 art class at Holy Cross Secondary School are not cleaning out their lockers, but decided to fill them with a message for a great cause. We've been thinking about this project for probably the last year. Um, it was something that started off as just a really simple conversation um, and it grew into this project uh, that we're really excited about. We really wanted to find a unique and creative way um, to bring teen dating violence into light um, and get it something, make it something that young people are talking about and asking questions about um, in a fun and creative way. As their teacher, what did the students express to you about this experience? It's been a really uh, rewarding experience for them. They've been able to share um, experiences from the, um, their own their own life or with friends, and um, it's been very uh, beneficial for them to hear about some of the the signs of unhealthy relationships because they may have not read them that way. Um, being adolescents, they may see different behaviors as flattering where it can be more a sign of control. So we've had some really great conversations within the class and um, yeah, I think it's been a really beneficial experience for them. Can you tell us a bit about your art piece? I chose to do social media abuse and abuse um, through verbal um, through personal experiences and everything, I've learned a lot about abuse and that it is very important. Um, and it is very important for women to know the signs and warning signs of anything, really, um, just to keep themselves safe and basically make sure that they know what they're going to be getting into. Now, why do you think this is an important cause for teens like yourself? we don't realize how much of it is actually going on around us in our own community, in our own town population. It's one in four people, that's the base of my art piece. One in four couples are in an abusive relationship and it's, teens don't realize how common that is. How did you become involved with Jillian's Place? Um, we've had a, a long-standing connection actually with Jillian's Place. Last year we did uh, two or three different projects. Um, we, uh, our construction class, and you're going to meet some of those folks, they uh, uh, built a pavilion for uh, Jillian's Place, built some picnic tables, a play area for the, for the children who are living there. So we've tried to cultivate that relationship uh, over the last couple of years. When they asked us to, do, to, uh, to help out with this project, we were very happy to comply. Can you tell us about the Walk for Women event that's coming up? Walk for Women in its second year. Uh, last year was overwhelmingly successful. Uh, in our first year, we doubled our, our goal. Um, and so it's something, it's a really great day where women are coming together uh, to say with a united voice that we are not going to accept this, that, that violence is not okay. Violence against women um, is not going to continue in our community uh, if we have anything to do with it. What do you hope the displays will communicate to people who see this? Teen dating violence is really an epidemic in our community. It's something that is growing, um, and so more than anything, we really just want to create awareness about that. Um, and the students here uh, have become leaders and ambassadors in getting their peers to talk about this. Um, so we want them, they, th this is their interpretation of domestic and dating violence. Um, so we really just want people to start talking about it. Um, we want you know, young people who maybe have questions about whether they might be in a, in, a, in a violent relationship or they may know somebody who is, we really want them to, to ask questions and to know where to go to get that help. The students' lockers will be on display from April 28th till May 3rd at the Penn Centre. For more information, visit JillianSplace.com. In St. Catharines, reporting for The Source, I'm Vanessa Verwarn.